Hello. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I saw I saw your uh, uh, PDF. Yeah, it's uh, initially I was a bit confused. I thought that uh, you're burning the magnesium of the magnesium, you can magnesium oxide. Yeah, but you should not do that uh, because it's. Um, uh, is 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 very exotomic, yeah. The temperature will be very very high. Okay, I see you managed to get into this uh, into this file, yeah. I see you. Yeah. Uh, you can see it, yeah. You can see it on your iPad also, so that you can write. You can see it also on your screen also, yeah. So that later you can. Okay. Then this one. Uh, energy practical here. Uh, this is the link also. If you click here, then you will be, you can open another, another white pot. Yeah. Ah. Can you manage to get into here? Um, yeah. Very good. Very good. Very good. Okay. So this is your PDF file. Yeah. Wait, can you um recap has law? Cause I don't know if I'm like also understanding it correctly. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I think the oh, rest please. of um kinetics and energetics should be like okay. I think cause um especially for like the factors affecting the rate of reaction, we already like learned it in the years. Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah, and the calculation is quite. Mm. It's like this. <clears throat> uh, hash law is you think of it like a factor in mathematics, <laughs> as if it is a factor. It's, it's not really a factor. Yeah, like this. Yeah, yeah. So A to B. Ah, uh, then let's say this is delta H one. Yeah. Ah, uh, they can they can make it complicated. They can make like complicated like this here. Yeah. Wow. So let's say, let's say like this, yeah. So delta H two, delta H three, and delta H four, yeah. So from A to B. Ah, this one, no, that is fine. From A to B, there are so many ways. Delta H1, yeah? You can go directly. And this thing will be equals to, uh, this is A to B directly. Then you can put delta H2 plus delta H5, correct? Like AC plus CD. You answer? Also, it's like... It's almost like a pen. <laughs> almost like <laughs> So, <coughs> but these boxes here are the substances. Yeah? So from one substance converted to another substance, and the delta H is the reaction, the arrow R, the reaction. Yeah? So this one you can say is delta H2 plus delta H3. Ah, this one you 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 flip the arrow, and you flip the arrow, then you become minus, yeah. Oh, okay. Minus delta H one. Ah, like this. So remember, if you flip the arrow, then it is minus. Yes. Okay. Ah, so that's that's it. <laughs> there is H law. They they use some complicated words. You know why they use complicated words? That's because uh, if you miss one of the words, then they, this is considered wrong. Technically, wrong, right? Yeah. So they, they, they must be very, very careful in phrasing it. And they phrase it in a very complicated manner to avoid mistake. <laughs> so that's it. Yeah. Wait, um, for example, like yeah. in the exam, right? Like, for example, like they want us to use like Hess law to find um, mm. 
mm. we, but then um, they want us to like give like come up with like other equations to find like the Hess law. Will we like mm. to, like find out our own equations or will they give us everything? They give you everything. Oh, okay. They give you everything. They give you other things. Yeah. Like if let's say let's say they give you let's say they give you uh this one h1 h5 then they ask for h2 huh then you use this equation and then, so h1 minus h5 yeah 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 okay. mathematically they must give something that is possible for you to calculate yeah yeah but this in this question they don't give <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. This is the combustion. And I look through here. See here. Uh, from, I, because I was curious. This is burning. Reactive oxygen is burning. And the fire is very sharp, like that. Then you. If you're not careful, you if you see directly, then you can can be blindness, like temporary blindness. It's quite quite dangerous. Yeah. So like this, in this case, uh, they ask you to use S, and the reaction that they want is Mg plus half O2, then become MgO. And for this chapter. State symbol is compulsory because if you have different state, the delta H will be different. Yeah, solid S, yes. solid S. Yes. Ah, okay. Ah, then you label it. Uh, A, yeah, B. Okay, <clears throat> uh, they give you something magnesium ribbon. MGO itself, they give. Yeah. Oh, so then it's just like finding other equations using. Yes. Yeah, MGO. Using, uh, okay. And they give HCl also. Oh, is the um acid yes. and active metal? Yes, acid plus metal. MGO itself is a base, as it plus base. Oh. Uh, try. Then, uh, this is reaction number one, let's say. And we call this delta H1. Try reaction two. We label later. We label the, we label the box later. But just write on the reaction first. MGO, MG. MGCL, very good. Very good. Wait then? Um, wait, okay, then I, I remember. Very good. Yes. Yes, made a mistake. <laughs> MG is too plus. MG is the plus. No, you should not put it here, but no MG CL3. CL is minus one. Okay, then please tell us. H2 is a guess, correct? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, Is it using the leftover MgCl2? No, MgO. Oh, huh? MgO is HCl. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And this one, we call it 
Delta H2. Is it just MgCl and H2O? Yes. MgCl2. Yes. Good. Don't forget to balance. Good. Good. Yes. One more. You still have the H2. Okay, this one we call it Delta H2. H2 plus O2. You know why? Because so that we can convert this into here. Um, Wait, H2 plus O2? Yeah. Become H2. Of course, you know. Good. Then we call it, we call this thing Delta H4. Yes. Then. Okay. Ah, then this thing. Oh, this one. You add uh, two HCL. Two HCL equals and two HCL equals. Am I allowed to do that? Yes, because I'm adding. The same thing, yeah. That means this one is like you add to uh, you add to uh, 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 what you call it, so that you can match them, yeah. Ah, this one plus half or two plus half or two can. I I do that? Yes. What's the name of this box here? What's the name is of this box? Is it A or B or something else? Um, C? No, it's B. Oh, yeah, C. C, sorry. C. Yeah. How about this thing? D. Okay, MGCL2 plus Okay, good. Then this thing. This thing. You must add something. Yeah. Two. O2. Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah, plus half O2. Yeah, plus half O2. So this one, this box is what? A or B or C or D or something else. MGO plus. Oh, sorry. Without the O2 here. This is already same as something. Mg MgO plus two HCl. What is it? A. No. Oh B. Yeah, it's B. Yeah. Ah. MgCl two plus H two. E. E. Yeah. Mark it there. Eh? <clears throat> oh, this thing. This thing, uh, don't make it, don't make it to his two. Make it one his two only. That means divide everything by two. 
we have a h1 okay make it uh, h2 plus half of 2 ah. what must you add here yeah. so that it can match 2 hcl no H2 MGCL2. Okay. MGCL2. Left and right. MGCL2 acres. Yeah. This is. <coughs> Label. What is that? MGCL2 plus yeah. H2O plus MGCL2. E. Correct. Oh. Okay. Yes. Then. E. Okay, make the diagram. Connect them. A to B is H1. B to E is H2. E to D is minus H4. <laughs> e to C. A, C is not connected to anything. HCL plus MG plus half O2. Oh, this is not C. HCL, MG. This is A. Yeah. This is A. Same, right? MG, half O2, M2, HCL. Yeah, this is A. Okay. A to B is delta H1. B to B is delta H3. A to A to D is the A to D is what I think. Good. <clears throat> First of all, you're not allowed to labor. <laughs> and somehow on the exam, this label <laughs> we must be reciprocal. This is my own method. <laughs> <laughs> the box you must put the substances. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, don't 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 erase that. You 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 can you can you can I can make make a new one below there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat>
also mentioned that like when we are like doing with the MGO we need to like um, decide how much we're going to use to reduce the uncertainty. Correct. 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 We use calculation for that. Yeah. We use calculation. Then uh, we, we are going to do so, so what we do? We do a preliminary calculation first. That means we, we calculate the number that is reasonable reasonable for us, not too big, like one kg of MGO is, of course, it's not realistic, right? So we, 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 we roughly know, then uh, after that, we can we can calculate, yeah? We can calculate the, 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 the delta H, yeah? Okay. Just now, oh, I screenshot this one here. Uh, okay. RCM magnesium even. Okay, okay. Wait, RCM magnesium even. I screenshot. Okay. This is. This is reaction number how much? Delta H2, yeah? Okay. 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 Uh, HCl <clears throat> magnesium is for 24 gram is one more, yeah? <coughs> but they, they don't have the gram here. But uh, roughly, 
this 5 cm of magnesium ribbon is roughly around 5 gram. Yeah? So which is uh, in excess. We must make sure, you no. Know, who must be in excess here? The HCL or the magnesium ribbon? The HCL, yeah? Because HCL is, uh, is easy to measure, yeah? Uh, let's say that, let's say. Then, uh, what you do? You have a beaker. Then this is HCL. Then you measure the temperature change here. Yeah? And stopwatch. Then what you do? You must measure the temperature. Increase and decrease here. Yeah? Then uh, it then you draw the this thing. You draw before here. Uh, then you get the highest point here. Delta theta here. This is temperature against time. Yeah. Okay. So HCL. This. One mole per dm cube is too high. Yeah. So we okay. One mole per dm cube. Too high. We try to make it uh, uh, zero point one mole per dm cube. And how do you do that? Uh, the <coughs> dilution using standard solution, right? Yeah, correct. So how do you dilute them? Take 100 ml, then you dilute it to, oh no, uh, 25 ml, then you dilute it to 250 ml. Yes, so from the 250 ml, you take 50 ml. Oh, sorry, you don't understand ML. <laughs> what is ML? CM cube, yeah? Uh, we then did this, the yeah? MG ribbon, I measure 24 gram. No, 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 no. No, it's not 24 gram. And somehow you won't get 24 gram. It's very little, yeah? But uh, we, we, we don't know. You can measure. Oh. Yeah? You can measure. Later, 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 we can it here. Yeah? This 25... No, 400... Okay. Then... Uh, <clears throat> then this one, 0 0.01 uh, times 0 0.1, okay? Uh, how much you get? Okay, this 250, you divide it into 5, huh? you get 50, 50, 50, and 7. You divide by five. Number five, you just use it for spare. And then, then uh, this one, this one, experiment one, two, three, four. Then you do four times, the reaction four times. Yeah? So each one, the HCL is how many more? <coughs> 50 times 0 0.1. 0 0.5. No, oh, five. Fifty times zero point one. Yeah. <coughs> More per DM. This from twenty five to two fifty you add water. Yeah. After that you split into four. You have one spare extra. 
5 times 10 power negative 3 mol. Ya. Kan? Oke. Okay. That means the mg use is how much according to the mole ratio? One is to two, right? Mm. Mm. Five times ten to the power of three divided by two. Okay. Times twenty-four. I'll try to check the I try to check the okay. magnesium and hydrochloric acid. Oh, the answer, okay, this one, delta H2, according to internet, is negative 462.5 kilojoule per mole. 462.5, okay. How many gram here? Ampar of vacation? Um... Times 24. <coughs> Because the MI is 24. <coughs> 2.5 times 1. Times 24. How much? 60. 35 by 1000. 0.06 gram. Okay, the, each strip here, because they give you four, four pieces, yeah? I think this thing is too, too small here. <laughs> too small here, yeah? <clears throat> we redo. We redo. We redo the calculation. I think we use... They give you 400, right? Mm -hmm. oh, we just use the... We just use the... 100 cm cube. 100 cm Oh, let's say we don't dilute. Oh no, cannot. This 400 is also used for the. It's also used for the, the 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 what we call it for the MGO also. So we cannot use everything. Use 100 cm cube HCl. Then you dilute it to 1000. Yeah, let's say 1000 cm cube. Then out of this 1,000, let's say we take, we need four, right? Maybe we take uh, 200 each. 200 each. <coughs> so we do four times, right? Uh, like this. Okay, we speed up. So we do 200 each, then you have spare. <laughs> you have spare just in case you, you need it, okay? Okay, then the HCL is sorry, 200 some, uh, 0.1 divided by 1000. Then calculate the mass.
2 times 10 power minus 4, yeah, and 1 times 10 power minus 4, really, 200 times 0.1, divided by 1000, no, 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 0 0.02 only, mm. 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 Two hundred divided by thousand times zero point one. Uh, okay. <clears throat> no, too much zeros. <laughs> divided by two only zero point zero one. Without uh, 0 0.01, uh, without this thing, yeah, yeah, times 24, 0 0.2 program. I think, I think it's more than 0 0.2 program. Okay, good. Okay, <coughs> then Q is equal to M. C, delta, is school is delta theta or delta T? Delta T. Delta T, okay. Uh, delta H is equal to N times, N times, oh, sorry, uh, Q over N, yeah? So we calculate here, Q <coughs> Q M C delta theta N oh delta H is modulus now, yeah. Uh, delta H we cheat already here. <laughs> Cos six two point five kilojoule per mole. Negative four six two point five kilojoule per mole. Yeah. Then the mole here is zero point zero one. Correct. Ah, calculate Q. Calculate the heat energy. Four point one eight. <clears throat> uh, this is joule per gram. Yeah. How to Q here using this formula here? Four point six two. Kilojoule, yeah, which is four six two five joule, and mass we use two hundred cm cube, so two hundred two hundred gram. Yeah, because this one is 200 cm cube water. <coughs> yeah, 
Yes, then we calculate uh, delta P. Six to five divided by two hundred divided by four point one eight. Five point five. Okay. Good. This number five point five point five G is it reasonable? Is is it easy to measure? Quite okay then. Yeah. If it is only one degree, it's a bit difficult. It's not so obvious. But do you think it's, is it too small? Too small. Like a uh, little five, five degree, you can, you can feel it and you can. Okay, five, five degrees, okay. If you think it's too, okay. <clears throat> yeah, five degrees is easy to measure. If you want to get higher degree, that means you must make it more concentrated. I think five should be okay. Uh. Five should be okay. Yeah. yeah. Five point five somewhere. Yeah, it's almost six. Yeah. Then later when you do the experiment, it doesn't mean that it's going to be five. So, for example, the this thing. Let's say it's twenty five. Yeah. Then you get the temperature here. Yeah? Oh, the highest is 29. It's not 5. Then you think it's wrong? No, not true. It's not going to be wrong because it's decreased here, right? Because you extend. And then it will be more than 4. Understand? Because you will extend. You, you understand why, why we must why we must trace back like this, right? Because the heat is lost to the environment. Yeah? So this is temperature and then this is time here. Yes. <clears throat> so that's how you do. The beaker is 200. That means the, the, the beaker you took the 250 cm beaker. Yeah. You took the 250 cm beaker. Then it's 200. So you have. 50, 50. Then you put here, then you measure. And so this is we work forward. Later you work, you work backward, you know. <laughs> you get the temperature, then you calculate uh, Q, then you calculate the delta H. Yeah? Okay. So this is delta H2. Delta H2 from experiment. This thing is from data booklet. Then we need to do one more experiment here. MGO plus HCL. Yeah. We already use 100 cm tube of HCL here. And you do it here. Okay. I duplicate here. Okay, now this is a solid MgO. This is the delta H3. Write on reaction. Reaction for reaction 3, delta H3. Uh, MgO plus HCl. <coughs> then we do the pre preliminary calculation. Yeah.
Okay, MGCO2 is like this. Yeah, H2O is of course. Uh, what do you call it? Yeah. Okay. Then do the null calculation. I right found here for experiment. You do four times. Yeah. Each experiment is. You do four experiments. Each experiment is one gram of MgO. Yeah. Right on. <clears throat> one gram each. You do four times, then later you take average of course. Yeah. One gram, then calculate the mole. Mole of MgO. Magnesium is MR34, O is 16. Uh, then you calculate the mole. Who must be in excess? MgO must be in excess. Yeah? Okay. Right, calculate first. Zero point zero two five more, and this one must be right on here. MgO is in excess. Okay, excess. Yeah, that means if you divide by two, right on, maximum HCl is zero point zero two five. Oh, times two. Yeah, <clears throat> right on, maximum HCl. Zero point no zero point zero five yeah. Then you take you take something less than that. Huh? You take HCl something less. Shall we do the similar one like before here? This thing the HCl is how much zero point zero two yeah. Ah then you do the same thing here right on. Take 100 cm of HCl, then dilute it to 1000. Yeah, that means the concentration will now become 0 0.1. This is uh, before here is. One more per dm cube becomes zero point one more per dm cube. Yeah. Then from here you take how many? Two hundred cm cube times four. One is four square. Yeah. Take hundred cm cube. Take two hundred cm cube. Yeah. <clears throat> Then, uh, yeah, 200 cm cube HCl means how many more? I calculate magnesium oxide and hydrochloric acid. Okay. Uh, 
Q, you calculate, yeah, you're saying.
Yeah. <clears throat> Quite low. Quite low. One degree. Quite low. So it's data you're going to have to recover. So don't dilute this much. Uh, So oh, don't di don't dilute this much. We oh we don't even need to dilute. We still have the three hundred red. Right? Yeah, we take two hundred. Yeah, two hundred cm cube. Then we split up into fifty each. That means we don't dilute. You take how much? 50 cm cube, yeah? 50 cm cube HCL per experiment times one mole per dm cube. Okay? No, but that will be too much here because you don't have the magnesium. The magnesium is how much? 0 0.025. Okay. One over 40. Yeah. No, cannot. 0 0.05. Yeah. Oh, if you take 0 0.05. It is just nice. So don't take, we must make it a little bit less. Yeah? So we take 40. Yeah? We take 40 cm cube. 40 cm cube, that means you can do five experiments. Yeah? You can even do six because you have 300. So 0 0.0, four more. Yeah? Then, <clears throat> then you get 0 0.04 divided by 2, which is 0 0.02 more. Well, but the mass is not going to be 200 gram. How many gram here? 40. 40 gram. Ah. Then which one get affected? Delta H not affected. The Q affected. C not affected, then the temperature also affected. Okay. Back. How quick.
13. Nah. Oke. Okay. 13 is obvious. Ya. Yeah. 13 is obvious. This is because you don't dilute. If you dilute it a bit, then yes. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. So, 13 is quite okay. Oke. Okay. So, that's it. Ya. Yeah. That's how you do uh, the, 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 the reaction. Ya. Yeah. You want to learn. You want to do some exercise on S. Okay. Let me. It it looks is is quite easy. Okay.